ले ले हंस रहे हो मेरे पे आपके भी दिन आएंगे रुको अरे मेरा दिन तो ऐसे खराब चल रहा क्या ही और खराब चल रहा है <laughs> So I'm pretty sure you already saw the drama unfold. My car has a coolant leak, so we're just trying to diagnose what is wrong. I think we found the problem, and it's actually a pretty funny one. So let's see if that actually solves it or not. And then we'll of course have to top up the coolant. And I think in this episode we're going to be installing a really cool little, well, it's not really a mod, but it's an upgrade for the car. So let's see how this episode unfolds. So we're suspecting the leak to come from this the cap of the coolant tank and as you can see the rubber seal and the plastic bit inside is pretty much done for it's broken and yeah it's i guess melting or something so we've put on a temporary uh, cap that was lying over here in the garage i'm thinking whether or not to change the coolant tank all together because that has also gotten pretty old so let's see if we have to change the coolant tank we'll do that but the cap is going to get going to get changed for sure So the upgrade that we're doing today is the infotainment screen. So my Octavia is from 2015. It doesn't get CarPlay, none of that. Just has Bluetooth and a very basic media player on the inside. Uh, sorry, infotainment screen on the inside. Not a lot of functions. Uh, I want to have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So the thing with the 15 Octavia is that you have to actually change the media player, which is in the glove box as well. because the current media player doesn't support the newer style of screen so i've gotten this media player from a uh, scrap car i've got it for a steel deal so i'm really happy with the price i got it at so i'm going to be fitting this today with n square auto tech and let's see how it turns out and i think so we need a couple of extra parts as well so let's see how it turns out i'm really excited for this mod <music> So this is the screen that we're going to fit today. This is the newer Octavia's uh infotainment screen and as you can see it has a couple of cracks. Of course, N Square AutoTech cannot sell this to a client. Uh so that's why I just bought it off of him because I know it's not going to sell. So instead, I'll just put it in my car for the time being. And yeah, The thing is to change just the glass on top it's 15000 rupees so i'm just going to run it as it is just for the time being maybe later on we'll change it uh, at least the glass will change it so we have to do a couple of coding stuff to the car the player is from a canton music player so we have to change the code for that we have to code this as well and i think so there's a usb uh, port that has to be added as well in order for this to work with carplay so we're going to order all of that and yeah let's see how it turns out so the player and the screen are now fitted uh how do you go home i'm very not used to this yes so currently uh, if we go into one of the screens for example vehicle as you can see this is a superb over here because this system was from a superb but we're going to do some coding with n square auto tech we're going to make this into an octavia of course it's not going to be the mark 3 it will be the mark 3.5 which will show up on the screen but i mean i'm totally fine with it this thing looks awesome in the interior and i'm just excited to i'm just excited to use android auto and apple carplay so let's see what n square auto tech does now so while the car was here we thought the service is also due so we're servicing the car 
we've removed the pipe across CF intake. We're going to be changing all of the filters, flushing out the old coolant. We're going to install a brand new coolant tank and the new cap, flushing out the old oil and yeah, just making sure everything is neat and clean. And the infotainment system is also going to be fitted today. So yeah, I think so the car is going to feel pretty much brand new. Not of course not brand new, but it's going to feel very nice after all of this stuff because I'm going to clean it properly today, do everything properly. So let's start by disassembling this uh, intake putting some uh, cleaner onto the air filter and cleaning the whole intake in general and let's start with the process So while we had taken the car up onto the lift uh, and we were removing the oil, we noticed that there was still a little bit of coolant leaking. It was very minor but it was still leaking and yeah, the EA888 Gen 3 uh, has a very common issue of the water pump going bad. Just a year ago before I bought this car, Sushant from Mechanics had changed the water pump for this particular car and it is very strange that the water pump is leaking again. Now we're not sure if it's the water pump or not, it can be a hose or something around the water pump which I'm hoping it is because I don't have money to uh, change the water pump again. So yeah, let's see, I mean now we're disassembling everything to get to the water pump because it's in a very awkward position, it's right in the middle of the car. Let's see what happens, I mean I'm not, I'm not too intrigued to know anymore. <laughs> so we've removed the intake manifold of my car. Uh, now we can clearly see the water pump and these guys are still a little unsure if it's the water pump or not. I mean it is something around the water pump for sure or maybe it's just me trying to make myself, make myself feel better that it's not the water pump. But it's more or less the water pump and I probably have to change it or at least repair something in it. Uh, so let's see, I mean, they're still go we're still going to remove it, inspect it and we'll see what happens. Uh, yeah, until then, if you can see all of this water, it's not the coolant, it's actually my tears. Because, yeah, I'm going to go in debt after this. <laughs> ड्रेन हो so this is the culprit and uh, if you guys don't understand Marathi basically there are two places where uh, the coolant can leak from the water pump so one is over here near the fins and everything but they have given a little slot over here just in case there's some sort of problem in the body and if the coolant was leaking from this side then you would have seen it from this side because of this hole so it would have fell directly downwards and not on the belt of the car and the suspect like we're suspecting that the leakage is from this side so there is a joint over here right here i don't know if you can see it and this joint is probably where the water is coming out from uh, i mean it's still we're still going to open everything up and see you know if there's any physical damage that we can see and if not then we'll just have to play roll the dice and just order a new water pump and see what happens with it so yeah, let's see what happens. We're going to open some stuff up and see if there are any cracks. So it seems that uh, 
the o-rings in the water pump are the real problem because the size of these o-rings have actually expanded now that happens because of multiple reasons which well i'm not really qualified to state right now because i'm not sure how it happened but uh, the thing is the o-rings have expanded in size which means that the seal that is there has completely gone and small small amounts of coolant will start leaking from the passage that these expanded o-rings have made now again we will have to experiment a little bit more i mean if i mean i want to save a couple of bucks maybe just replace the o-rings but again finding o-rings that perfectly fit into that sort of housing is very very difficult uh, but yeah i mean more or less this is the real problem because we just removed it and they just popped out because they have expanded well beyond what they're supposed to be um so we'll just wait for some of the mechanics boys to come back and yeah we'll take a call on this now welcome back to part 2 of my octavia breaking down we were actually waiting for the water pump i had to order the water pump i you know there's no two ways around it this over here is the brand new pump i have got it for roughly around 20000 rupees which is going to sting my pocket for sure but i mean what can you do when you want to have something nice you have to pay the price as well so the water pump has been installed and the coolant leak has been fixed hopefully i mean Thank <laughs> you. 